in 1909 that was the time when the first antibiotics was discovered for next 100 years we have used various antibiotics to cure patients and in the same time at the same time we have developed resistance to all these antibiotics because of various mechanisms in the critical care unit there are two kind of organism which are very important among the gram positive it is mrsa and among the gram negative enterobacteriaceae and the non fermenters so dr abdul i am asking you what are the mechanism of resistance for enterobacteriaceae and what are the current uh, drugs which are recommended for these organisms i have been wondering why dr rajesh chawla is specifically interested in gram negative bacteria and that's that's the right question because we have plenty of antibiotics active against gram positives we have five six antibiotics in the market against mrsa so mrsa the antibody resistance is not a very serious problem as a, as far as we are concerned but the scenario is entirely different in the case of gram negatives we don't have new antibiotics against gram negative in the immediate future for our clinical use so when we discuss about gram negatives there are mainly there are main two categories of gram negatives and one category is called as enterobacteriaceae that means bacteria living in the intestine of the of human beings enterobacteriaceae typical example e coli klebsiella morganella serratia proteus hafnia and the big group it's a big group of enterobacteriaceae most common e coli and klebsiella on the other end the main group is called as non fermenters non fermenters forget about the definition is a complicated definition but for ordinary people like us non fermenters means bacteria living in the environment not inside the human gut but in the environment in the hospital environment this bacteria like acinetobacter pseudomonas chysobacterium and a big group of non fermenters typical example acinetobacter and pseudomonas on one end we have enterobacteriaceae like e coli klebsiella and on the other end we have non fermenters the environmental bacteria like acinetobacter and pseudomonas the spread of these bacteria are different the mode of spread are different because enterobacteriaceae live in the human intestine and the non fermenters live in the environment you get non fermenter in infection from the hospital environment the enterobacteriaceae infection you can get from the community as well